It's Dave from thinkoutsidetheslide.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can reveal the correct answer to a question to our audience by eliminating the incorrect answers. This allows you to have discussion with the audience. So for example, let's say I have this question, which of these answers is the correct one? And I get, get people to talk about it, think about it, and I say, okay, if you guessed letter C, that's not correct. Now we can have more discussion. Okay, so which of the three is it? Well, if you guessed letter D, that's not correct. Now we're down to two and we encourage more discussion. See, this is a way to engage people in this particular message or point that you're making. The final one, is it A or B? Well, it's not A, that means it must be B. So let's look at how do we create this? And we're gonna do it by using inking. And inking is something that PowerPoint allows you to do, and if you haven't seen it before, it might be because, well, your, your device isn't a touchscreen device. Now, mine's a touchscreen device, so it automatically gives me the draw ribbon up at the top. So let me zoom in so you can see this. There's the draw ribbon on my uh, PowerPoint, but you may not have that because you're like, well, I don't have a touchscreen device, but you can add it. See, you don't have to have a touchscreen device. So how do you add it? So we're gonna go over to the file, and we're gonna go all the way down in this list till we get to the bottom here to options. And then in the dialog box, we're gonna select customize ribbon. And this allows you to not only choose what commands show up, but also which tabs show up. So if I scroll down here, you'll notice the draw ribbon is right here. If you don't have a touchscreen device, likely this is unchecked, but you can just check the box and then it'll add it to PowerPoint. And then once you're adding, once you've checked it, you can go down and click OK. Now you have the drawing ribbon available to you in PowerPoint, and you don't have to add it every time you open the program or anything like that. It just stays there. So I'll go down to my slide here that has all of the answers available and show you how we can use this drawing ribbon to add ink on top of the answers that are not correct. And so I'll go to the draw ribbon, zoom in here, and on the draw ribbon we have a number of different uh, drawing tools that we could have. We have pens, we have pencils, and so on. What we're going to do is we're going to actually use the highlighter. Now the highlighter usually is used to uh, put a highlighter over some letters and what we need to do is we need to click this little down arrow here, and what we're going to do is we're going to choose the black color. All the other colors, you will still see the text through, but when you choose black for the highlighter color, what it does is it covers it up. You do not see through it. The thickness you can set, I usually use the, the thickest or the second thickest ones. I find those work best. So what I'm going to do with my uh, close this list of options, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, draw over the ones that are incorrect. So I'll draw over the A, so I'm just holding my mouse down and drawing over. And see what I like about this is it looks very organic. It's not a you know straight rectangle or anything like that. And then letter D. Once I'm done, I will change the cursor back to the arrow. Click on that. You always want to do that because otherwise you can end up drawing more on your slide that you didn't want to. Now we need to bring these uh, ink on top of the text on one by one as we want to eliminate those answers. And again, we're going to choose what order they go in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select, let's say D is the first one I want to cover up. So I'm going to select that and notice, I'll just zoom in again, notice here that the selection, uh, the boundaries of the selection are not as wide as the ink is. It's very, very, it's not very tall. It's just the way it selects ink. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the animation ribbon. And on the animation ribbon, you're gonna notice there are two animation effects that only appear when you've selected an ink object. Replay and rewind. Replay is draw this on the slide as I drew it. And rewind is take it off the slide sort of opposite that I drew it. So I'm gonna select replay. And it previews it for you there. Now. Whenever you do ink replay, the default is to have the animation appear over two seconds. I find that too long if I only have a short bit of text like I do here. So I'll go over to the right of this ribbon and I will change the duration here. I will say one second. 
and that's that's better for it. Okay, so now I've chosen that's the first one. Uh, let's say C is going to be the second one, so I'll select that one and do the same thing. Ink replay, change the duration to one second, and then the final one is A. I'll say replay, and again I'll change that to the one second. Now when I go into reading view. I again, which one do you think it is? We eliminate letter D, then we eliminate letter C, and finally we eliminate letter A. So every time I click, it eliminates one of those. Now, what if you want to create a handout or a PDF, but you don't want these on top of the text, these ink to be on top of the text? How do we take them off? Well, you don't have to delete them and add them back on because you can use the selection pane. So I'll go back to the home ribbon, and I'll zoom in here for you. So I'm going to go to the drawing section and on the arrange item, I'm going to drop that down and go down to the bottom and display the selection pane. And what the selection pane does is over on the right hand side, it opens the selection pane and it shows all the objects that are on the slide. We see the text box, we see the title, and then we see each of our ink. One, two, and four there. On the far right hand side, you'll notice two icons. One is the unlock icon, that means it's not locked. And the other one, the one with the circle with the sort of arc above it, that's supposed to be a human eye by the way, uh, that's the visibility toggle. So it turns whether the object can be seen or not seen. So what I can do is I can hide each of these ink objects by simply clicking on that visibility icon. Notice it puts a little line through it saying, hey, it's not currently visible but it didn't delete them. They're still there. So what you can do is you can create your handout or your PDF, print it if you want, and then come back to the slide and say, show all. And when you click on show all, what it does is it resets all objects to being visible. So this allows you to have really good engagement with your audience by sharing a question and possible answers, then eliminating incorrect answers one by one engaging them even more with more discussion about, well, why did you think that was? Now that you only have the, the, the rest of them left, what do you think it is now? We allow ourselves to really up the engagement and the effectiveness of our presentation. So next time you have a presentation that includes a question with multiple answers, try this technique of eliminating incorrect answers with ink. This video is an example of the practical advice that I share in my live in-person or virtual workshops that help teams create more effective presentations in less time. If that's of interest to you, get in touch. If you found the information in this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching.